welcome or welcome back to my channel it's your girl Drea and this is the Owl's Intuition if you're new hit that little subscribe and the bell so you get notified when I post some new stuff and if it resonates give me the thumbs up and comment let me know how or why okay baby I am so grateful for all of you okay and um, I just want to say thank you thank you for all the donations thank you for the super likes thank you for booking readings with me and if you want to book a reading my emails in the description box but also thank you for the likes shares and comments I appreciate all the feedback and the confirmations that he going crazy, okay? You guys are funny. <laughs> all right, let's get it. So what are we talking about today? We're talking about what about you is catching people's attention right now, okay? How are you catching people's eyes, okay? It could be physical. It could be what you're doing. It could be your energy. We don't know. We'll find out when we, when we do this. <laughs> okay, so we have four piles today. We have pile number one, which is the moon and stars tarot. We have pile number two, which is the dream keepers tarot. Pile number three, which is the game of thrones tarot. And pile number four, which is the black tarot. Per use, use, <laughs> you can pick more than one pile, one, 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 if you feel called to. Shout out to the people who watch one through four. I love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Okay. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. So I was like, let me just ask. And y'all was commenting. I was like, yeah, I knew it. I'm my intuition. <laughs> anyway, sometimes I try to not to gaslight myself anymore out of my intuition. Yeah. Um, that's all I got to say. I love you guys. And I hope you have an amazing day, night, or whatever. And I'll see you on the pile that you pick. Bye. Hey, what's up, Power One? Welcome or welcome back. It's your girl, Drea, and this is the Owl's Intuition. If you're new here, hit that little subscribe and the bell so you get notified when I post some new stuff. And if it resonates, comment. Let me know how or why. So y'all are going through some type of period of success? The truth is coming out of, about some betrayals that were going on in your life? Hmm? Is that what's happening? <laughs> the truth that you were destined for success is coming out? Okay, very interesting. If you would like to book a reading, my email is in the description box, but I will never message you for a reading, so please be aware of scammers, okay guys? And thank you for being here, and um, we're going to get your current energy to see if this is your pile. If this doesn't resonate, you can watch another pile, watch another reading, watch another reader. Just do what makes you happy, that's all that matters, okay baby? So, what is pile number one's current energy right now? One card. Okay. Are you flip and then you flip back? Bitch peace. I love this. Ah, oh, doubt. Yep. You know, you're really, really, really focused on your peace right now. Peace of mind. Peace in your life. You're trying to, yeah, like surrender right underneath. Release any doubts from your life, okay? A lot of you guys, people used to gaslight you or spew their projections or insecurities onto you. And, you know, it is what it is. Um, and you you kept silent, okay? A lot of y'all, you, you wanted to keep the peace so you wouldn't speak up and, you know, but sometimes that <laughs> you would hold it in and then all of a sudden you blow up and then people are like, oh yeah, you're so in it, and try to bl like, blame you when the whole time they was poking the bear. You know what I'm saying? Like you were poking, you were stabbing the fucking bear. Not even poking. So don't try to blame the collective because of the fact that <laughs> you got your karma for spewing so much negativity. But yeah, um, some of you guys, new love could be coming in. You could be attracting love because you're clearing out some negativity. I feel like a lot of people, and if you're in a relationship, obviously don't take that. <laughs> it could be a revamp in your uh, love life if you are in a relationship. But I feel like there's this emphasis on, like, you don't need to know the path right now, okay? You're gaining the guidance. You're taking the steps necessary uh, in order to improve your life. You've been doing your routines. I feel like you've been improving your diet and improving what you've been consuming in regards to maybe social media, music, or whatever. I feel like you're very... And people, okay? There's big emphasis on, like, energy work. Maybe some of you guys got Reiki or have been listening to more frequencies. But I feel like your vibration is raising because of whatever it is that you're doing right now. So keep doing that. <laughs> but yeah, you have a new beginning coming in. And um, I do feel like it's going to feel... This is a well-deserved new beginning because you guys have been through a lot of negativity and the crazy thing is is <laughs> I heard it wasn't your fault so all of this maybe it was past life karma too but like I do feel like a lot of people projected their negativity onto you and it's just it wasn't fair to you 
They wanted you to doubt yourself. They wanted you to think that you were crazy or they, di they didn't want you to believe in yourself. So now you're going to be stepping into a period of success. Like I was saying in the beginning, I didn't know why I was saying it, but now I understand. The truth is coming out. And it doesn't have to be like people actually talking about the truth, but they're going to see the truth of you, okay? But it's you realizing that you prioritizing your peace does not make you a bad person. It's you realizing that you letting go of negative people or a negative job or a negative situations or a negative ex or whatever does not make you a bad person. These people tried to make you feel bad for choosing yourself even though they were the ones who were spewing poison at you. The fuck you mean, bruh? But yeah, I think you surrendered to this path. You know what you want in life, but you don't know how you're going to get it. So that's where the surrender comes in. You're like, you know what? I do know I'm going to work on this for now. And then when a new opportunity comes in or I receive new guidance or a new idea, then I'll do that. I don't think you're stressed. Okay. You finally found peace, baby. After going through a period of very stressful energies. And if you haven't, it is coming soon. If you don't doubt it, because what you think manifests, okay? What you are, you attract. You got to focus on just prioritizing yourself and prioritizing your peace because you guys are empaths and you, every time you're around negative people, they spew their shit onto you. If you don't protect your energy or know how to be aware when somebody's spewing their energy to you, 444, four, four, that's, well, you're protected regardless, but like that's when you start feeling sluggish and feeling all negative and drained and you're like, why do I feel like this? <laughs> because you're picking up on their energy, okay? It has nothing to do with you. It just has to do with you making sure that you protect your energy so do your, do your cleanses do your protection everything is going to be okay you have a lot of good coming to you this is your vindication okay you deserve everything don't doubt that all right so let's get into your reading if that resonates okay power one what about you is catching people's attention right now why are you catching people's eyes right now you're catching a lot of people from your past eyes right now especially those who like you may have had um you know a, a, a tough falling out with or like you stop talking to people I heard offense so a lot of people took you like ghosting them or or cutting them off offensively and you know you're getting justice because of some type of success okay some type of thing that you have been working on creating and also working with the the powers of the universe with this hermetic in this universe you've been disciplined I know this is criminal okay but it says transgressor transgress aggressor of justice okay so this is your justice like i was literally saying in your current energy but also discipline so yeah you were in like a mental prison you were stressed you felt trapped maybe you were stuck and stagnant maybe you were just surrounded by so much negativity you felt helpless and i feel like you've purged all of that or you're in the process of that and people see that okay people see that you're protected people see that you're stepping into your power and that you're creating something that's going to be magnificent abundant pure you're improving your health too and that's what's catching people's attention is that like maybe you're looking different in regards to like you look healthier you look more rested okay there's something about maybe you're making changes in regards to your habits your sleep schedule your work schedule you're doing things differently and also how you interact with people holy crap <laughs> slow down baby slow down all right so we have hermetic create we have universe and then we have criminal and it also says prison and parole <laughs> you're on parole baby you're on parole from this prison that people tried to put you in okay a lot of people tried to cage you up a lot of people try to put you in a box okay ace of swords yeah you've had always big ideas and you've always just wanted to be about peace truth and love and harmony and a lot of people just didn't want to see you happy oh god pile one what the fuck i'm sorry all right i'm gonna clarify all these to get um some more information but you're definitely definitely understanding your true power you're releasing this mental prison and physical prison you're taking more action towards your success maybe you're going viral because this is the world in this deck or like you're posting more on social media and you're getting a lot of traction okay there's something about that something about social media but also your face okay because this universe like look at her face it's very symmetrical it's very beautiful okay so there's something about your face and your energy I'm hearing fucking, what's his name from Family Guy, singing, oh, you mm, 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 in my energy. <laughs> I don't even know what song it is, but anyway, yeah, you're just like, fuck the haters. You guys got a lot of haters, um, for whatever reason. 
Uh, especially the people from your past, okay? The thing is, is like you got a lot of people who are just talking about you, saying you was delusional, saying you was never going to be successful. Now you're, be, you're receiving some type of success because you stayed disciplined and you kept creating and you never gave up on yourself and you focused on keeping your vibration high. You've closed out whatever cycles you needed to. And that's what's catching people's attention is you're closing out cycles, you're starting new beginnings, you're taking action towards whatever it is that you've been trying to create, you're non-stop, you're disciplined, you're improving your health, and you're focused on yourself. And you're breaking out of jail, kind of, like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay? 333 three, three again! <laughs> Alright, what's this hermetic create in regards to what are people, um, oh, okay, hold on, we got a, we got a dropper. What's catching, um, oh, you're catching the eyes of some prospects that could want to collaborate with you. We have the three of pentacles and then the page of pentacles. Very interesting. So there's people who want to work with you because you're so resilient, because you're fighting for what you believe in, because you're getting yourself out of poverty in whatever way that is for you, lack, you know, whatever. Financially, most likely because we have so many pentacles and stuff, and I did see the five of pentacles here and i see growth which is the ace of pentacles yeah you've trusted your intuition okay you listen to your inner knowing you you didn't give up on whatever people thought was your delusions and it's come becoming a reality that success is coming in what's this universe what's catching people's eyes we got the knight of swords <laughs> drama and the five of wands chaos ain't no fucking way you closed out um oh my candle just finished Mm, lovely yeah you close out drama in regards to people okay people brought chaos into your life people uh brought drama into your life again we had that peace energy in your current energy so there's emphasis on you're not about the drama you don't care about the drama you're moving forward very fast in regards to your success and you're fighting off whoever's like literally trying to bring it in <laughs> if you're trying to bring chaos in fuck you you're speaking your mind more too and that's what's catching people's attention is like the way that you're speaking your mind and it's not in a way that is like um this chaotic energy it's just like respectfully i don't want drama in my life you're overstepping boundaries or whatever it is the issue <clears throat> And that's what's catching people's eyes. Or you're just ignoring the drama and you're focused on your success and you close out that cycle and you walked away and then all these people are engulfed in drama and people looking from the outside in have no idea like how you're untouched by this drama because you just mind your business. You're like, I'm, if they don't bring it to me, it ain't about me, even though it, they could be trying to talk about you and stuff like that, but it has nothing to do with you because if they had a real issue, they would step to you. Criminal, get me now. Are we taking reversals? Yes? Yes, okay. So we got the Four of Pentacles. Control. Yeah, people were trying to control you, keep you in this prison. And now you're moving forward towards your dreams. Three of Wands energy, okay? You're communicating more with people who actually love you and support you and you're ignoring the others okay i feel like you're speaking your life into existence okay you had trust and faith in the universe you could be extremely spiritual and you broke out of the matrix you're no longer a prison this is your justice you stay disciplined and that's why success is coming in for real for real all right let's get into your tarot to close you out okay pile number what do you want <laughs> look at me all lost already i just started doing the reading chill out bro <laughs> um we have the justice truth we have the ten of cups completion we have the five of cups grief we have the ten of pentacles wealth you could be seeing ten ten a lot or you will be we have the ace of wands new beginnings we have the eight of swords anxiety and then we have the world again completion then we have the six of cups past we have the three of cups celebrations and the two of cups relationships Y'all are leaving the past behind, and that's what's catching people's attention. Like I said already, you have past friends and past people from your relationship that are seeing you online. They're seeing the truth of how big you truly are. Like, look at her. She's big as hell standing on the earth, okay? Huge. Like a giant. Bigger than a giant. Like, she's in the universe. Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, like, you guys have big energy. They try to dim that. They try to make you feel small, incapable. You know what I'm saying? They didn't acknowledge your talents, your gifts. And uh, they try to cause you grief and stress and anxiety, okay? One, one, one. A lot of people, I heard, didn't wish you well. 
you have a lot of people who love you and I feel like because of the fact that you know you're very supported especially when it comes to whatever venture that you're heading towards because you're you're heading towards happiness celebrations I feel like you have a small circle okay you know a lot of people but you have a small circle and that's what's catching people's attention because they're you keep a lot of people at arm's length and um your exclusivity is making people crave you more especially the people who like are not from your past like those people will always crave you even if they can't admit it i heard they're obsessed they're in love or they're just infatuated or they're jealous that's so toxic my god um you know because i you do have exes and stuff who are the same way in regard it's it's exes and friends okay and possibly some fam for some of you but um i do feel like you guys are coming out of a period of sadness and grief and stepping into your most highest and best timeline it's a new beginning okay you were anxious you were trapped again because with that criminal that was about like you know caged up and this is the eight of swords which is like a mental prison so that's kind of interesting right and <clears throat> you're getting your justice that's what's catching people's attention is that they're seeing these people from your past that you closed out this cycle with that try to gaslight others into thinking that you were the villain that you were the one who was you know a bad person and stuff like that and because because they're like <laughs> people were like well why did you, why do you in uh, pile number one don't talk anymore, you know? Or like, how's pile one? And they're like, oh, I don't know. They, 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 they. Like, um, okay. <laughs> I don't know what that even means, but moral of the story is that people from your past were trying to like make you seem like it was your fault or, you know, they, they were talking shit and trying to like make it bad, okay? Now people are seeing that you're you're happy, you're finding peace, you're you're getting popular in regards to whatever it is that you're creating. Maybe your business is booming, or your social media if you're a content creator, or like some creative venture. Okay, maybe you got a promotion at work. There's more money coming in, and that's what's catching people's eyes too. Is because they're like, how do you come from this like sadness, this grief, this regret, this this anxiety, this trapped energy into the, the ten of pentacles and the ten of cups like <laughs> the world success completion closing out those cycles in a new beginning also what's catching your people your people's eyes okay the people's what's catching people's attention is that you're looking really delectable your body is changing in the best way okay you're more balanced and I feel like, yes, you are protective of your energy, but I think you're more open now because you have healed some type of wound, especially like maybe you healed these past people or the regret. Maybe you felt grief and regret for having to cut these people off. You made yourself feel guilty. You healed that. And that's what's bringing in this Ten of Cups and this Ten of Pentacles and this new beginning energy. But yeah, your, your sex appeal is definitely drawing people in. And like I said, your face, okay, maybe you're losing weight or, you know, you're, you're doing things. Maybe you're putting makeup on or your face is just changing okay i heard glow up you're going through some type of glow up energetically because you cut all these people off these people were evil eyeing you when they were your friends or when you was dating them 444 you was always protected but they were the reason why you had like you know massive amounts of acne or why you were always bloated or you know why you gained so much weight and stuff like that and it wasn't like a happy you know gate weight gate uh gate weight gain <laughs> my god <laughs> but it was like, you know, and uh, maybe you had bags under your eyes because they were, I heard they were bad influences. Maybe you used to party and do drugs and drink and this is like in your past and stuff and, you know, they're, they were draining you. So you look tired, exhausted. Now you look energized. You look well rested. The bags could be dissipating. Your skin could be clearing up. You're losing weight or gaining weight in all the right places. You just look like you're glowing and you're finally happy because you're letting go of the grief because you finally getting your justice and seeing the truth of like how these people or these connections or these relationships or whatever it is that you closed out from your past is it was blocking you it was draining you it was keeping you in this anxious grief energy you probably were feeling their anxiety or their depression i mean you probably still go through your own depression and your own stuff too obviously but like it was 10 times worse because you're an empath and maybe you were surrounded by certain narcissists or people who had narcissistic tendencies and stuff like that. Maybe some energy vampires, knowing or unknowing, you know. You were feeling drained after so you couldn't work on your goals and dreams. You cut these people off. You dedicated yourself to your work. And now you're getting the success. 
you're celebrating. New relationships are coming in. New friendships are coming in. Or you kept certain friendships and those are the real ones. This is your justice. This is this success that's coming in, these new beginnings in regards to your money and your happiness. You deserve this. You're no longer going to be stressed about money. You're no longer going to be stressed about arguing and stuff like that. I feel like you guys were surrounded by so many people who were arguing and arguing. arguing blah, 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 blah. So much drama. Because we did have drama and chaos, you know? And now it's like you're just about your peace. And people are noticing that peace looks good on you. This looks good on you. This new energy that you're coming into, it looks real good. And you're looking real good. So shout out to you, Pot One. That's what we're going to call it. Okay, I love you guys. I hope you have an amazing day, night, or whatever. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye. Hey, what's up, pal two? I can't wait to see what comes out for you. Welcome or welcome back. It's your girl, Drea. And this is Al's intuition. Oh, I just saw the Ten of Pentacles. And the Wheel of Fortune. And the Three of Pentacles. And the Justice. And the Sun. What is happening? Oh, I'm excited to see what comes out for you. Part one was dope. I can't wait to see it. All right, guys. If you're new, hit that subscribe and the bell so you get notified when I post some new stuff. And if this resonates, give me a little thumbs up and comment, okay? If you want to book a reading, my email is in the description box, but I'll never message you for a reading. So please be aware of scammers. This is a long time coming. What's coming into your life, you've been manifest manifesting this for years, okay? For years. So we're going to get your current energy to see if this is your pile. If this doesn't resonate, you can watch another pile, watch another reading, watch another reader. Some of you guys, you're going to be manifesting a new relationship that's going to be very envied, let's just say, by others. One, two, three. Okay. What is pile number two's current energy? One card. Okay. Two. <laughs> Service. <clears throat> You provide some type of service, whether you have a business, you're an entrepreneur, whatever it is, or you create things, you could uh, have a creative venture, you could be an artist, but I do feel like mostly you help people. Maybe your art, your music, whatever it is. This is my creatives. We got the creatives up in this gang gang. What's up, guys? Hi, how are you? Okay. A growth, indecision, and service. You are indecisive in regards to, is this the right path? Okay, am I doing what I'm supposed to be doing? If this is the abundance card, don't hold me, but yep, yep. You thought you was gonna fail, or you thought you was a failure because you know maybe your success wasn't coming quick. Okay, I did see patience earlier too, and you kept going because you know it was good, it felt good for you. You like to create, okay? It wasn't about being successful, but I do feel like sometimes you know people maybe said like oh i don't know why you're doing that or like that's not going to bring you money or stability or whatever it is you know now you're doing what you love you're helping people grow you feel good doing it you're more motivated you have energy you're grounded and i feel like your intuition is guiding you in this and i feel like you're guiding others whether you're leading by example or you're actually guiding others because some of you guys could be psychics with that intuition coming through either way you're very conscious you're living consciously you're aware of when you need to let go of things or when there's negativity you're aware of when you need to surrender or you're also aware of what you need to change when in regards to what actions will help me to live a better life okay maybe i need to stop eating this or maybe i need to start working out or maybe i need to do this and you're even if you're not taking action towards it right away you're creating a game plan in your head and you will be taking action towards it soon and this summer is going to be about you prioritizing yourself and you're going to be growing you're going to be changing after a period of stagnation of indecision you're at a crossroads like should i just give up and scrap this and like do something else and then god was like absolutely not look at the service that you provide look at the growth that you give to others and the growth that you have experienced because of what you're doing look at how you help others to feel good look at how you're how you're inspiring others to not give up on their dreams because you're not giving up on your dreams and then you was like, oh shit, because they sprinkled in a little bit of success, a little bit more. They was like, whoa, 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 whoa. Let me show you that you're so close to that diamond. Keep digging. Keep digging. And um, you do have something coming in. Okay? You've been seeing little trickles of success. Or you've been seeing some things happen. Maybe you've been making more sales or... or you know, more people are buying your product or buying your artwork or whatever it is that you're creating. Or maybe someone emailed you in regards to an interest in, uh, of 
interest in you or whatever you're doing i do feel like you're about to have a lot of opportunities you're going to be extremely busy your life is about to gain a lot of momentum so i don't know what it is that you do but whatever this is it is divinely guided your angels have brought this into your life and it's going to make you so happy i heard it's ecstatic okay that childlike energy is coming back in so god bless god bless baby i'm happy for you okay let's get into your reading if that resonates all right so we will clarify but we're going to talk about the general messages that i get right now we have avenger we have authority we have spiritual seeker i told you i knew y'all was spiritual okay and then we have nature okay so memory resolve hatred plotting interesting right and devotee of the inner path meditation insight and practice you practice makes perfect i'm hearing practice makes perfect you've built a foundation with this four energy okay authority this is the emperor you're 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 either um okay let me calm down <laughs> you're either an entrepreneur a business owner a leader in some way or a ceo a boss okay or you've just it's self-made you're self-made you're you're going your own path okay um, what's catching people's attention is the fact that you're taking lead of your life. You are not scared. You are very enlightened, very connected. You see beyond the illusion, the way that you, um, do your spiritual practices, that you meditate, uh, you follow your inner guidance, you trust your intuition. That's catching people's attention. Like when you're around, people always experience synchronicities. When you're talking to them, when you text them, they could be seeing like synchronicity in regards to numbers and stuff like that. It's just like little things, but it's really like catching their eye because they're like, well, it's only happening when I'm with them. But then when I'm by myself or like when I'm with others, like I don't see as many, but it like quadruplifies and I start seeing the magic because your energy just brings that magic in. It brings that light. It brings that awareness to people. Okay. You are a walking spiritual awakening <laughs> so shout out to you all right we do have this avenger energy all right people who are just a distant memory um are still talking about you or they're hating on you and plotting on you they don't want to resolve anything okay they're not speaking the truth because the sword is pointing down okay they're all talking bullshit you're <laughs> you know what's crazy is this nature right here is pointing at this avenger it's like thing like they feel like you're attacking them or they're trying to say that you're attacking them and then you're over here enjoying the fruits of your labor standing in authority focusing on your spiritual practices and stuff like that and like people are like what are crazy people think that these people this avenger energy are crazy <laughs> they're like um i mean from what i see pal is looking pretty good they're focused on their work where would they find the time to be to be attacking you or plotting on you or whatever it is <laughs> let's see what's the spiritual seeker i want to save the avenger for last yeah you're tapping in because this is like look at she got a cauldron and shit okay maybe you do magic and you're open about it and stuff like that and that's what's catching people's attention is because they're seeing that you're doing magic and they're like oh shit like this person's actually um manifesting shit because they're doing magic you know oh yeah look queen of pentacles on the bottom you're making more money you're making more money and that's what's catching people's attention do i not do the autofocus or i can't see it's kind of far anyway um you definitely could be eating more fruits and vegetables and stuff like that and people are like very intrigued that you're you're taking care of yourself okay i see a six pack ab over here he got some nice thighs he got some buff ass arms he's you're i heard you're well taken care of and that's what's catching people's eyes right now okay again this emphasis on you walked away or you stopped fighting with these avenger people these people who are plotting or jealous or whatever it is these negative nancies you focused on your inner journey you stepped into business yourself or became a, got promoted or started working on your creative ventures with this ace of wands okay maybe you're doing something in regards to spirituality maybe you have a candle making business or you make jewelry or you do reiki or you're a tarot reader or whatever you could have some type of spiritual business that people did not think i heard flop people thought you was gonna flop and you're not you're stepping into this you know very you are disciplined because this also represents discipline as well do we have discipline no that was the other pile i'm sorry but like you know you're, there's this emphasis on like you're disciplined and success is in your nature abundance is in your nature 
okay? You're stepping into your true self, okay? You used to dim your light. And now it's like, I'm gonna let my magic shine, baby. Shit, look, look at all this, the shining energy. So what's this uh, nature? Are we taking reversals? No, okay. We have the moon. What's catching people's attention is that you are very, very um, secretive right now. You're not letting people know your emotions with this King of Cups. You're keeping everything close to your chest, okay? And people are like, what's going on? <laughs> you know? You never let them know your next move, and that's what's catching people's attention is like, you don't talk about stuff. You're not, t even like your friends and stuff, you don't tell nobody nothing. All of a sudden you just pop out and you're like, oh yeah, look at that, I did this. You don't even tell them you did it. <laughs> okay. Um, people are definitely focused on you in regards to finding out if you are taken or if you are in a relationship. I feel like you're not really stressed about love, but you're just loving on yourself or focusing on your manifestations. Even if you are in a relationship, you're just kind of doing your own thing, but still like, you know, in a relationship. But I feel like, you know, you're not like attached at the hip or codependent. You're in a healthy relationship. Okay. But I think you're, you're going with a natural flow. Okay. And I feel like you're not seen anymore like people see you when you're doing whatever it is that you're doing or people see your business or whatever this is but besides that <laughs> your private life is private and that's what's catching people's attention because they want to know what's going on behind the scenes what's 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 this what why can't i see what's going on or why don't you show us okay why don't you vlog or something why don't you tell us like what your day-to-day -day is or like post on facebook and complain about your life like everybody else no, i'm just kidding <laughs> but like people are like that's what's catching people's attention because they're like well why are you stepping into your most abundant timeline why are you out here king of pentacles queen of pentacles you know with your dream person or getting your, your dream life or whatever they're like what choices did you make that are different than what i did how come you're not upset anymore how come you're not complaining because maybe you used to get upset or, or fight what's this authority oh we got two cards the chariot yeah you're getting success you're getting success maybe you're traveling Oh, a lot of major arcana. Um, the strength, too. We have Leo, Cancer, and Pisces energy. Heavy Cancer and Aries, too. And Heavy Pisces. And we have the King of Cups, so you could be a water sign. Or have a water moon. Anyway. Yeah, you're very intuitive, so that makes sense. Um, or fire signs. Heavy fire signs, like I said. Woo! Sag coming through as well. So let's talk about this. You never gave up on yourself. You were patient when it came to building whatever this foundation is, okay? Now you're the the creative your of your life. You're the boss of your own life, okay? You're your own boss for a lot of you. And, you know, you never gave up. You may have took pauses, okay? You may have rested. And you let go of whoever was trying to hold you back. And now you're stepping into a ascension, in regards to your success okay you're gaining momentum and it's speeding up very fast because you decided to let go you decided to you know put your boundaries up what's getting people's attention is that you have more boundaries okay you're more compassionate to yourself so you take the time to rest but you're still disciplined you're getting your things done and people don't know when you're doing these things like they see what you're putting out but they don't see like when you're doing it or how you're doing it they're like okay well where where the fuck when when is this happening what's this avenger Let's see. The hanged woman. Yeah, you're unfazed. You're focused on your money. And, you know, you let go of relationships. And these people are trying to avenge themselves by, like, making it look like, again, like, you're the one. Okay? Or trying to make people hate on you and plot on you and try to, like, mess with you and stuff like that. They have no hold on you. They're trying to keep you stuck. Because you're stuck in their mind. <laughs> they're obsessed in the worst way not in the best way in the worst way and that's causing them to extreme um to experience experience extreme darkness because they tried to catch you in their web keep you stuck and stagnant and now they they ended up you know fucking their, themselves up so whatever they were sending out to you it's hitting them and they're realizing like damn Maybe I should apologize. What's catching people's attention is that, you know, the people who left your life, similar to Pile 1, or the people who were talking mad shit about you and stuff like that, they're going through tough times and people are like, oh. And then they see you and they're like, well, why isn't Pile 2 getting karma then? If you're saying that they did this, this, and that, and you're going through some shit. Hmm? Something's not adding up. The math is not mathing, baby. The math is not mathing. 
Yeah, you close out painful cycles with these people, and now they're getting stabbed in the back because they stabbed you in the back. Let's get into your tarot to close you out. All right, pile two. So we have the Queen of Wands, the Judgment, the Devil, the Knight of Pentacles. We have the Eight of Wands, the Two of Swords, and then we have the Ace of Pentacles on the side, baby. <laughs> then we have the Star, the Lovers, and the King of Swords. All right, again, you're multi-talented. Like, if you look at this King of Swords, he literally is writing in a book. He has his hand up like he's doing, like, a conference and talking on stage and stuff. And then he, he also has this sword. Like... You speaking your truth or whatever it is, you could be like a person who creates content and you talk, okay? You could have a podcast, YouTube, or whatever it is, and that is making you shine. Okay, what's catching people's attention is that you're an inspiration, okay? You never gave up hope, and like that's what's really helping because people know that you I heard you had a tough past, okay? You you weren't given what you have, okay? Uh, you you were held back by a lot of the, the trials and tribulations that you went through. You went through a spiritual awakening, okay? And, uh, you know, people are definitely drawn to the fact that you are spiritual. Wasn't I saying y'all was psychic or something like that earlier? I'm not sure. But, yeah, um, you definitely could be because, I mean, I feel there's this emphasis on, like, you're also intelligent and wise, but you're definitely connected to spirituality. You have um, transformed you have transformed you have left your old self and that's what's catching people's attention is i heard you it's a uh, pal 2.2 2.0 or something like that <laughs> okay like uh it's the second version of you okay i don't know uh, what you did or like what happened but you know you are going through a rebirth and you're looking very attractive okay you're you're very attractive i heard you're pretty you're handsome and you're sexy okay but you also are an amazing communicator the way that you talk you heard you use big words sometimes and stuff like that so that could also be catching people's attention because they're like well how do you know this word or like maybe you don't look like the type of person that people would think is intelligent okay because a lot of people oh you got beauty and brains oh oh what the fuck that's not fair <laughs> and that's what's catching people's attention is that you are pissing off the toxic people who try to hold you back because you're still moving forward and these people are stuck and stagnant you're and yes it's a gradual slow and steady pace because we have the knight of pentacles okay you're stubborn when it comes to your dreams okay and we do have more entrepreneur energy with this queen of wands or this like uh ceo kind of or boss or manager kind of vibe like a leader with this king of swords okay your relationship could also be catching people's attention or the fact that people want to be in a relationship with you with this lovers and this queen of wands energy it's either you're with somebody or that you have people who are obsessed with you who want you because you're a wish fulfillment for people with the star okay people with the devil here there's definitely some kind of sex appeal your body is is looking maybe the boobs is boobing the, the butt is button okay maybe you got more buff okay you're you're, you're just uh, it's, it's your energy baby it's your energy especially with the star energy the lovers okay people are all trying to make a decision in regards to how can i get this person in my life again similar to pal one you don't be around people you do not be around people. You could be very hermit or this like popular loner, lone wolf energy, and you're focused on yourself, your bag, and these people are trying to pull on you, trying to grasp you, and you're moving forward. You're you're like okay, but yeah, a lot of people. What's catching people's energy? Energy. You could be catching a lot of people's energy, like a lot of people are sending you energy. So clear and transmute that. Use that for your advantage because <laughs> it seems like... You, oh, that's what I heard earlier and I forgot. Um, free publicity. You're getting free publicity. Okay? People are, are sending you so much energy because they're so focused on you and so obsessed with your journey. Okay? And you're building. You're going to get to your Ten of Pentacles. You're the Nine of Pentacles right now, but you're on your way to becoming the King of Pentacles and enjoying your Ten of Pentacles legit and people know this and that's why they're obsessed and and mad because of the fact that you keep your shit under wraps okay people want to talk to you people want to ask you about your life and i feel like you can like move around that or you just don't talk um about your life with people or people don't ask you know it is what it is or you only tell exclusives the people uh, the people who are exclusive in your life, okay? Um, there's a lot of people who were trying to block you and hold you back from um, your growth, from abundance, from new beginnings. And now they're they're upset because, you know, and the thing is, is like, 
these people you couldn't see them because they were doing all this shit behind the scenes for whatever i heard malicious they had malicious intentions or they were just talking shit or you know magic or whatever it is because it depends on who you are the magic situation is not for everybody Okay? But you had a lot of toxic people sending you negativity, trying to hold you back, trying to keep you stuck and stagnant, trying to blindfold you to how amazing you are, how desired you are, and you went through your rebirth anyway. Now you're looking more attractive, more abundant, you're stepping into a new period where you're starting to manifest more abundance, okay? The delays are leaving from your life, and I feel like you are becoming more and more intelligent, more and more wise, and successful and you're shining with this star energy you never gave up hope so these toxic people are just irrelevant and they can't stop you and that's what's catching people's attention is you can't be stopped you're a slingshot every time you go down you you shoot up even higher and that's what's catching people's attention because people thought you fell off people thought you fell off and then all of a sudden five 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 you you popped out changed you popped out glowing you popped out confident you, it was like you never left <laughs> and people were like how especially the people from your past and stuff that maybe the toxic people you let go of they're like what the fuck is this i didn't think they were gonna make it oh we have an i am happiness multiplies when shared yeah you're happy and people are sharing their happiness with you and you're just living a better life and i feel like you know you're not allowing um emotions to rattle you to bother you you're not worried about the drama you're just focused on yourself you're elevating you're moving forward very quickly you're transforming and you let go of a lot of toxic habits you could be smoking and drinking a lot less okay and i feel like you know you're on a slow and steady pace towards your highest and best timeline like i said in the beginning you were destined for abundance and you know people really don't want to put you on that they put you on a pedestal but they don't want to put you on a pedestal, you know, because they're watching you. They're wa obsessed with your journey. They're obsessed with what you're doing. They want to know what's going on behind the scenes and stuff. And it's like they don't want you to succeed. They that's why it's like they want to block you, whatever. And you probably block them. And that's what's catching people's attention is like people are trying to search you up maybe on your social media and stuff. And you're blo they're blocked or maybe you block their number or maybe you just don't text back and they're like, it's real. It's hitting people in the heart. And that's what's catching people's attention is people are realizing, like, they have no control over you and you're gonna make it. Just gotta make it. All right. Just gotta make it. <laughs> okay, let me stop. <laughs> that's what we're gonna call it. <laughs> Pile 2. This was a long one. All right. I love you guys. I hope you have an amazing day night or whatever. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye. Hey, what's up, Pop 3? It's your girl, Drea, and it's the Owl's Intuition. If you are new here, hit the little subscribe and the bell so you get notified every time I post some new content. And if it resonates, give me a little thumbs up and comment. Let me know how or why, okay? You guys have immaculate energy. Oh, I, heard, I just got a burst of energy. All right. <clears throat> wow, you're prioritizing your health and your money right now. Good for you. Okay. Maybe you, you, you were sick earlier or like you got over a cold and you're like, I'm all about prevention right now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? More fruits and stuff. So I don't have to go and, you know, take medicine and shit or whatever. Um, veggies, whatever. You know, vitamins. Anyway, uh, holistic vibe. We're going to get your current energy to see, to see if this is your pile. Also, if you would like to book a reading, my email is in the description box, but I will never message you for a reading. So please be aware of scammers. If you, um, yeah, anyway, if you, what? <laughs> Current energy, like I said, why am I lost? Oh my god. Uh, why did I hear I'm lost without you? Can't help myself. How does it feel to know that I love you, babe? You got somebody who who is realizing that they're in love with you. You changed up on them, aka like you chose yourself because you were sick of their bullshit and you haven't thought about this person in like years. You freed yourself from this, like maybe you were in a mental prison and now they're lost without you because they realized that they, the grass wasn't greener on the other side. Some of y'all wasn't a third party or someone just rejected you, chose somebody else. That's only gonna resonate for some of you. I don't know why that's even coming through. Oh, maybe they're gonna hit you up because they're realizing it. Maybe the the person they chose or whatever, they left that person or something like that. And now they want you. So they're trying to figure out how can they hit you up because they're lost without you. Wow. 
but they lost. <laughs> that's their that's their problem. All right. Like I said, if this doesn't resonate, you can watch another pile, watch another reading. They see you getting abundance and success. That's why. That's why. There's always a reason. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. Shout out to you for getting more abundance, though. Um, as I was saying, keep in mind that thousands of people are watching, so not every message is going to resonate for you. Just take what resonates and leave the rest, the rest, okay? Because, yeah. If it doesn't resonate, you can watch another pile, watch another reading, watch another reader. Do what makes you happy. Ugh. All right, we got a card. Humor. <laughs> Honesty. Yeah, I love this. I love this. Okay. You've realized that you can't control others, okay? No matter how much you love a person and no matter how much they could love you, it's their choice at the end of the day. And I feel like, you know, you knew that somebody had feelings for you you knew that somebody secretly wanted you right but they weren't honest with themselves so again it, it kind of has to correlate with this uh this let me just finish this message and then we'll get some more stuff if this message doesn't resonate for you um but if it doesn't all together then this isn't your pile and you gotta pick another pile but <laughs> you're gonna be laughing is it because somebody's gonna hit you up and finally be honest with themselves you're not gonna expect it okay and i feel like this this is the truth you already know you're gonna be like okay i already knew that it's confirmation and they're gonna be like well you know i want you can we date or do you want to go do a co like like let's, let's do this let's let's connect like <laughs> you're gonna laugh and you're gonna be like <laughs> no and then you're gonna focus on the positive and that's gonna send this person into a spiral because that's our karma. Um, anyway, not my business. <laughs> but, um, yeah, you guys are very honest. And when you speak your truth, people don't expect it. You always do the unexpected, okay? You keep people on their toes. And I feel like you're very divinely connected. And you're also funny. You're the star of the show, baby. You are, like, there's something about you being the star of the show. Like, I don't know. You have big-ass energy. And you always focus on the lighter side of life. You always crack a little jokey when things are getting tense. You don't take things too seriously. You know, you don't sweat the small stuff. And you're really focused on peace, your truth, and speaking your truth. You live authentically and you take leaps of faith based off your intuition. Again, you're focused on your health and your mindset and improving things. Maybe some of y'all suffer through like... Uh, depression or or anxiety you're learning how to temper that or learning how to because you know it's not easy to get out of it but if you work towards it you can okay I speak from experience not not based off of a book or whatever okay because personally me sometimes it fluctuates sometimes I go through my little de depressive spouts and stuff but I've realized that if I'm not putting myself first or if I'm giving too much or if I'm um not doing my daily routines or focusing on my health and eating well and stuff like that that's why i get into this depressive energy or because i'm too focused and nervous about the future or too focused on the past shit i can't change shit i can't control five 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 okay when you change that that's how i personally uh get myself out of those uh anxious or depressive uh episodes that i go through but you know it is what it is and i know how to get myself out of it too and uh, I give myself grace for the feeling and I feel that shit and I, I let it go because you know if I try to suppress it or ignore it or deny its existence that's me you know trying to stray away from the present moment if I stray away from the present moment I get lost in illusion and then my life becomes trash so um anyway if that resonates at all I don't know why I just went on a tangent um things are gonna get better because you're getting better and you're not taking things too seriously you're not gonna be stressing stuff out so let's get into your reading ain't no way we have clown and we had humor in your current energy y'all are funny that catches people off guard I think your humor catches people off guard because they really didn't expect you to be as funny as you are <laughs> gang gang yo I fuck with you guys I knew I fucked with you guys that's why I was like your energy is immaculate bruh <laughs> We could be friends, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But uh, we have wizard balance, and then we have ba so we have balance, balance. Very interesting. Again, uh, we have eleven energy as well, and then we have clown, jester of laughter. We have comedy, mask, and performer. What's catching people's eyes? 
or attention is that you are removing the mask in regards to who you fucking are. You're burning away all disillusion. You're focused on your wishes fulfilled. You're becoming more creative and confident. You're speaking your mind. You're honest. You're truthful. You have all the tools to um, create some type of success. Okay? And I feel like you're prioritizing the relationships that matter. You're very balanced right now, okay? I feel like you're spending time with friends. You're getting your work done. You're doing things to improve your health, okay? Physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual. You're, you're prioritizing your rest and you're having fun. You're not just so serious or you're not um, a couch potato or, you know, doom scrolling or, you know what I'm saying? You're not in uh, bed rotting and stuff. Maybe you were going through that and now all of a sudden you shifted out of that. You balanced, you regulated, you did what you needed to do. And now it's like that's catching people's attention because we say, we outside, baby. You outside more, okay? You're out and about more. Maybe you're changing the way you're dressing. Maybe you're becoming more colorful in regards to what you're wearing and stuff. You're wearing new colors because, again, you may be going through some, some darkness and maybe you were wearing dark colors or something and it's not even that you consciously made that choice, maybe some of you did, but like I've noticed that I wear brighter colors like when I'm more happy, more excited, more, you know, and I don't think that's a conscious thing that just happens, I think it just matches, like I don't know how to explain this, but yeah. People are realizing that you are fire, you are very charismatic, you are energetic, you have a lot of energy. When you feel good, you do good, okay? You're, you're just this beautiful ball of um, happiness and joy. Uh, what's also catching people's attention is your smile, okay? Maybe people are noticing your dimples, uh, maybe people are noticing your muscles, okay? He got, a, like, this guy's ripped. <laughs> He's not jacked. Okay, but he's ripped, lean and shit. But you don't have to be jacked, lean or whatever. But maybe people are noticing your muscles or something about your body. Okay, there's emphasis on that. People are realizing that you are indeed an earth angel. Okay, people are realizing that you you make them happy. You make them have realizations in regards to what they need to improve. And that's what's catching people's attention is you're shocking them with your guidance. You're shocking them with how talented you are. You're shocking with them with how much of a performer you are, okay? And I don't mean like you're faking the funk and stuff like that or you're a clown or whatever. I mean you genuinely could become an actor or an actress and people are like, you're catching people's attention because maybe you post on social media and you put your true authentic self out there and people find you hilarious. People find you like this beautiful balanced being and people um, don't want to let go of you. People want to hold on to you. And uh, what's catching people's attention is that you burned away whatever doesn't serve you. You've become the wizard of your reality, okay? You are chosen in whatever way that means to you. In their eyes, they feel that you are chosen. Like Harry Potter, he was chosen, the boy that lived, okay? Every time I think of that, I'm like, boy that lived, oh. <laughs> Potter. Oh, <laughs> that's my one, Potter. Anyway, um, let me stop. <laughs> yeah, you're funny as fuck, bro. You're funny, and I feel like maybe you're wearing more hats. Your skin tone could be changing, too, okay? In regards to you could be getting more tan or something like that, or you're just glowing. Maybe your skin is clearing up, but there's definitely this emphasis on your hair looking luscious. That's catching people's attention. New hairstyles, hair growing, volume. Okay, volume. Oh, I said like that. 444. Four, four. What the fuck is happening? <laughs> oh my god. <clears throat> Yeah, you're definitely like this beautiful earth angel who speaks their truth, who is charismatic, who is confident, who is honest, who is truthful, who is hilarious. And, you know, your laughs also get people's attention. You could have multiple laughs. You could have a crazy laugh. Like, I have so many crazy laughs. And, like, you may laugh loud sometimes, and that could be catching people's attention. And then all of a sudden, they're like, what's so funny? And they're like, you seeing you laugh and all these other people laughing. And they're like, I want to cackle too. Shit. <laughs> Oh yeah, you have a healing energy, and I feel like you're getting justice for whatever was toxic in your life. You're getting justice um, in regards to your misfortunes. 
the wheel is turning in your favor and i know we don't have the wheel of fortune but it's definitely giving that i feel like you burned away toxic habits you may have left a toxic job toxic friend groups toxic relationship whatever it is you're cutting off toxicities you're improving your health you're focused on improving all aspects of yourself and that's what's catching people's attention because it's working for you it's improving your life you're becoming balanced again and i also feel like what's catching people's attention is that shit people used to say to try and trigger you it's you're unfazable you're nonchalant like people can't like mess with you you don't get upset anymore i heard you get even and not even in a way that you actually go out to get even i feel like you know that Kar karma's a bitch <laughs> you should have known better <laughs> okay but like you know karma you know that karma is going to take place and you know that you don't have to worry about that all you got to do is just walk away and then whatever happens happens you ain't got no control over it you just let it let it ride out you know but uh let's get into your tarot all right pile number three we have the Knight of Spears, the Eight of Coins, the King of Coins, the Six of Spears. We have the world, again, I swear that's like the third time it's come out. And we have the Seven of Spears and the High Priestess. Oh, what? Did I not clarify what the fuck I was... Your... I, not, I didn't clarify your oracles. I mean, I guess we didn't need it because I was already bibble babbling anyway. Um, <clears throat> you're working towards success. You are very much, like, <laughs> I heard you're on your high horse, okay? Which is funny because these horses. <laughs> but, yeah, like, you, you're successful right now. You're making more money, you're working hard, and I feel like you're chasing your passions. You're actually looking very attractive to others. Um, people are sexualizing you. People are drawn to you, but people also appreciate your creativity, and that's what's get, getting people's attention. You're intuitive. You're secretive, you move in silence, and that's what's also catching people's attention, okay? <clears throat> I heard selective, and I feel like hold on. <laughs> I feel like you guys are definitely the type of people maybe be friends with a fuck. <clears throat> people didn't think you were going to be successful and that's what's catching people's attention is that you're proving them wrong okay a lot of people slept on you a lot of people didn't see that you were chasing that fire that you was going to get it no matter what okay you could also be going viral on social media we do have the six of spears and the world okay you definitely could be getting successful in regards to that and i feel like people thought that was a silly dream I heard a pipe dream um your boundaries are shocking people the fact that you closed out cycles and these people thought they were going to be able to come back in okay even if you're cordial i feel like you know they think that they're going to be able to chill with you again or reconnect or whatever or you know you'll talk to them more absolutely not you're shutting the door on people's faces or you're just like hi bye kind of vibes and i feel like that's what's like catching people's attention because they didn't think that you were going to stand on it they didn't think you were going to stand on business they thought that oh they're going to get lonely you know they're going to do this they're going to do that you could also be traveling more and that also could be catching people's attention but i feel like you're in your victory season you're sitting high on your horse with your money and you could be making more money and that's what's also catching people's attention what's also catching people's attention is that you may have a creative um <laughs> <clears throat> A creative type of work okay I, I did mention viral so you could be an influencer podcaster or some type of thing in regards to using social media or the internet you could work from home or do you have some type of income that is not the huge okay it's not regular to people okay and uh, that's what's catching people's attention they're like what this is how you make your money okay I see you shit let me find out <laughs> um <clears throat> the priestess the priestess yeah you're in a position of power for some of you or you're just taking control of your life and you're working on yourself and you're improving yourself and i feel like whatever it is that you're creating yeah it's, it's helping you we have an i am it says freedom is the essence of life you freed yourself from limiting beliefs from projections you may have freed yourself from a lot in the in your life <clears throat> and people did not think 
that you would be able to. Okay, people didn't think you would be able to overcome certain things. People didn't think that you were going to make anything of yourself. And that's what's catching people's attention is that you actually are. Your, your, your intuition is guiding you. <clears throat> You're not afraid to step out of your comfort zone. I feel like you do it often. I feel like a lot of people would never do what it is that you do. I feel like a lot of people are trying to um, copy you now. <laughs> And that's what's catching people's attention is that people who would talk shit about you in regards to what you're doing are actually trying to learn from you or learn how you're doing what it is that you're doing. At the end of the day, moral of the story is that people are are very much caught by you caught people's eye or attention because of your looks, your charm, <clears throat> your confidence, your humor your popularity the fact that you're very popular and that's catching people's eyes because you a lot of people love you pal three and um you know what's not to be loved and i feel like the people who don't like you are kind of shocked okay because under this priestess we have the five of swords you know and the sun in the reverse so it's like you've had a lot of people who are unhappy and <clears throat> that's also catching people's attention is that like say someone's talking about your success or like oh my god look at this person's going viral and then you have these people who are like blah 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 okay like that's what they sound like to me and um they're talking shit to this person and people are are noticing like oh wow this person really got haters or people are mad that this person is successful or winning and stuff like that and that's catching people's attention because first of all why but also like why aren't you happy for them you know what i'm saying like it's just interesting <clears throat> to people but yeah you have people fighting for you you're very much fighting for yourself and I feel like you're defending yourself. You could be fighting for rights. <clears throat> That's catching people's attention. Okay, you're helping people. I'm sorry, my throat chakra is getting blocked. It's very interesting as well. So I feel like, you know, what's catching people's attention is that you're not speaking. You're just doing. You ain't got to talk it and be like, oh yeah, I'm going to do this and I'm going to be that and I'm going to do that. You're humble and that's also what's catching people's attention. Because it's like, this is such a quiet, um, humble energy but it's also loud because of the amount of success and, and the amount of recognition that you're getting right now is going off but you again are very much moving in silence you're not telling people like oh look at this you're looking the people are seeing it but you're not telling them <laughs> you allow your work to speak for itself and that's what's catching people's attention is you ain't got to tell people you just show them so <laughs> that's what we're gonna call it pothery <laughs> i hope you have an amazing day night or whatever and i'll see you on the next one bye Hey, what's up, pal four? Last but never least, of course, it's your girl, Drea. And this is the Owl's Intuition. If you're new here, hi, welcome. Hit that subscribe and the bell so you get notified every time I post some new content. And if this resonates, give me a little thumbs up and comment. So let me know how or why. All right, a lot of you guys, you went through a period of nostalgia and you're letting go of that and you're letting go of the past. Maybe past people were popping in. Maybe you were seeing past people. You're closing out those cycles so that it's no longer giving you an emotional reaction. You could see somebody who you had a whole blowout fight with and had bad blood with and not even bad an eye anymore. Or that's coming up. I don't even know why that's coming up. All right. If you want to book a reading, my email is in the description box, but I'll never message you for a reading one on one. If you, um... <clears throat> Okay, if why do I keep saying if you after? <laughs> That's the second time in this whole reading. We're gonna get your current energy to see if this is your pile. If this doesn't resonate, then you can watch another pile, watch another reading, watch another reader. Keep in mind that thousands of people are watching, so not every message may resonate for you, but it is my intention that it feels like a poisonal. So let's get it. What is pile number four's current energy? Mm. Self-esteem <laughs> and discipline. Oh, this is beautiful. Beautiful. You guys have been through so much adversity. A lot of people try to put the blame on you. You're stepping into your purpose. You're taking action towards, you know, what's going to bring you abundance, what's going to bring you happiness. I heard if it don't make money, it don't make sense. A lot of you guys are like, I mean, you know, I'm not saying that you're like, completely cutting off what does not make you money but i definitely feel like it, you're prioritizing your funds you're prioritizing your work you're prioritizing your side hustles your creative ventures whatever it is okay you're about that bag right now as you should and you're doing what you set your mind to you're accomplishing your goals and people have their eyes on you i got my eye on you 
okay? You have a lot of gifts. Your gifts benefit others as well as, as yourself. And I feel like you're becoming more confident and you're really taking action towards what it is that you know if you get a, a gut feeling about a person place or a thing it's quick action it's no longer like um you know you're questioning your intuition you know that like okay well i gotta do this i gotta cut this off i gotta go over here today you know and all of a sudden you start seeing why and then as you take action towards trusting your intuition more it strengthens strengthens your intuition okay so keep doing that. Keep trusting your intuition and you're going to see that it's like, it's not anxiety. And you have to be able to know the difference between your anxiety and your intuition because that's how, you know, it is it because intuition is a calm knowing, baby. It's just like, you know, you don't know how you know, but you know, and if you trust that, even though you don't know, if you have faith, even though you don't know, 333, three, three, and you trust in your angels, you trust in your, your spiritual team that's how miracles happen even if you don't know what's happening right now you're going through tough times and you, if, but if you trust that things are uh, gonna get better for you and you stay disciplined towards taking actions that will actually make that happen and you don't play victim or whatever else and complain I promise you that brings you success that brings you all the miracles baby and you guys know that and th that's what you're experiencing or you're about to start experiencing you're finally stepping into your true north node okay capricorn coming through as well and i feel like you're you're staying disciplined and the discipline that you've ha i've heard months you've been staying disciplined towards a routine or towards taking action towards something for a couple months and now it's like you're about to receive the fruits of your labor and this is really going to boost your confidence in regards to you trusting your intuition because a lot of people thought you were crazy for taking a chance on something that you did or taking some type of leap of faith or trusting your intuition even though you didn't see what the possibility could be like for sure you just had faith you, you trusted that inkling feeling and now you're about to prove 444 that you know your faith is rewarded if you never give up on yourself and you stay disciplined it's rewarded and you're going to inspire others that is also your purpose is to live your best life and inspire others and guide others to do the same tell your story write a book go on a podcast youtube something you got to tell your story okay so if that resonates at all let's get into your reading oh sweet baby pile four we have glamour energy glam we have recognition and reward and then we also have chef <laughs> let me tell you i'm seeing um that movie with uh channing tatum and what's his name Noah, i think oh uh, what is that called and ice ice cube is in it too the cop movie and stuff <laughs> where they're like in this undercover cop thing and stuff and then they were terrible cops in the beginning and they didn't think that they were gonna be good and stuff then they ended up like solving or like arresting some big at they they you know they won okay they won and it's like cause I heard the whole reason I brought that up because when I said chef I heard my name is Jeff <laughs> my name is Jeff <laughs> so it made me think of that and that's what's catching <laughs> people's attention is that like maybe you weren't doing so good or maybe you were you know like people thought you was gonna, gonna be a failure or you was gonna have to like you know do something different than whatever it is that you're doing but now you're finally getting that recognition and reward baby okay you stayed proficient you're mastering something and you're also becoming more glamorous maybe you have more money to invest into things people are definitely intrigued by um your legs your legs could be getting thicker stronger musclier maybe uh you had strawberry legs and you're using something to get rid of that okay your skin is also soft that could be catching people's attention there's something about your skin glowing maybe some of you guys look um glowy because you're using body butter or um you know like some type of like glitter lotion or something about glitter glam like maybe you're doing more, your makeup more you you got a new lipstick or a lip oil okay so you could be um styling your hair beautifully as well and also maybe some of you guys you dyed your hair and that's also catching people's attention but I, like i'm looking at this and it's like take a bow it's like you're taking a bow you're like yes thank you thank you you're getting your flowers and that's what's catching people's attention is people are giving you credit in regards to how talented you are 
how amazing you are, how you are creating something that is magnificent. It is your own artwork. It doesn't have to be actual art, but whatever it is that you're creating, you created this. You're creating an empire by your damn self. Okay? You're living a more lavish life. Maybe you're going out a little bit more or drinking or people seeing are seeing you out and about at social events and stuff because she's all dressed up. She got her glass of wine. Maybe you're dressing up more. And I feel like that's what's catching people's attention too. Maybe your smell too. You could be smelling like a new perfume or something and that's catching people's attention. Maybe you started using a, a different hair product and it smells really good. Some of y'all people are notice, you're noticing your footwear and that's what's catching people's attention. You could be wearing heels, sandals, maybe someone just got their toes done or whatever. I'm not sure. Maybe you're cooking too and that's catching people's attention is like what you're cooking. Like maybe you're telling people like, oh yeah, I made this and I made that. I heard something about your health. Like maybe you're eating more vegetables and stuff like that or you're telling people about certain health things that could help you to lose weight or, or get gain more muscle mass and stuff like that but yeah what's catching people's attention is <laughs> the fact that you have like this mean like looking face right and then i heard your bundle of joy underneath it so you may look like intimidating you may look a little scary or whatever and then all of a sudden you start talking and you're like a little soft teddy bear to those who you actually want to let in okay this is emphasis on you make the choice okay you treat people how they treat you and not like you're sending negative energy back, but that you are not going to give attention to the negative people. You're not going to show love to people who are hating on you. Why would you do that? Like, make it make sense. And that's what pe what's catching people's attention is you're not faking nice. You're not faking the funk. If someone's pissing you off or you're going to speak on it. Let's clarify because I forgot to clarify for the other pile. So, yep. You ain't fighting with people from the past no more. You ain't worried about the past. Your past is irrelevant. You are not your past. You have left your past behind. You've created a whole new life for yourself. And you're like, bye. Those who are meant to be at the table, they are already here. <laughs> All right. Glamour energy. What's this about? We got the world, <laughs> the hermit, the ace of knives, and the hierophant. No reversals. Okay, no reversals a lot of cards for one okay well yeah you're pouring into yourself and it's making you glow up you're glamorous you're you, people also are um you're gaining attention because of your looks okay you could be getting more compliments you're you're glowing and you know i feel like you're people are like what's in their water like what are they drinking what are they doing that's what's catching people's attention is because of this recognition because of this mastery and because of this glow up people want to know what it is that's bringing you the success they want you to tell the truth in regards to that okay ace of knives they want you to talk about your level up okay they want you to be this leader this step into this power okay like what belief systems do you have okay they want to learn from you with this hierophant energy you could be dressing up more, wearing more dresses, uh, sundresses, or like uh, um, attire that's like to go out. Maybe you're going to church. But you're also hermit. You're also hermit and you're focusing on yourself. You're like, you're very leveled up spiritually. You're focusing on peace. People are seeing that like you're aware, you're attentive. You're observant and that's what's catching people's attention is like people are looking at you and you're catching everybody looking at you you're seeing what freaks people out okay and this is a random side message is like when people stare at you you it's like you can feel their energy you can feel them staring all of a sudden you turn and you look at them like why they're like why do they look at me there's like mad people here but i'm looking at them and they look at me like what the fuck it's like bitch i can feel your energy <laughs> the hell all right what's this recognition and reward the nine of baskets bitch yep people didn't see that you was gonna get success people didn't see that you were gonna be this star okay literally oh my god people doubted everything about you you know we had the six of coins coming out too we have the star okay and then we have um some of y'all definitely got a new hairstyle or you got a new haircut you may have gotten a design in your hair 
uh, and the moon and then what's the bottom the fool yeah you're living a new life and you're creating the life of your dream some of y'all you may have gotten a new car or they seen you driving a car and they're like you got you caught their attention with that like you look good when you're driving or maybe the way that you drive you over here tokyo drifting and shit no, just kidding. but like you know you're shining the moon and stars it's galactic energy you are embodying galactic energy you're very much an alien you're very unique okay you stand out and you're shining bright and you're only giving energy to people who reciprocate your energy again this choosy energy like no um i'm very selective i can tell when people want to use me or when people see me getting recognition and then all of a sudden they hit me up and it's like well you didn't hit me up when i was going through my dark night of the soul or when i was going through this or whatever so it's like bro <laughs> now you want to hit me up because i'm succeeding oh no not me shuffling this shit in backwards okay yeah people are, are ass backwards right now in regards to how to treat you because they don't know how to make this work because again like it's like who wasn't whoever wasn't with you shooting in the gym aka whoever wasn't with you supporting you when you was on your journey building this abundance building whatever it is that you've been building mastering whatever it is they're you're not gonna open the door for them and that's what's catching people's attention is like you're shutting people down and people who are hitting you up similar to another pile you're not responding you're not giving them the ener the same energy that maybe you once did okay you're treating people differently because you're you're using your intuition to know people's true intentions especially because you're glamming up you're looking better you're 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 living better you're more abundant you're becoming more successful people want to work with you because they feel like if they work with you, you they get your success you know or they want to ride on your coattails and that's why you're getting people's attention is because you're not allowing just anybody to come into your life okay chef my name is Jeff. okay we got the five of coins am i taking reversals with this one or no okay the hanged man in reverse and the five of coins in the reverse and then we have the Son of Wands, which the Son of Wands is the Knight of Wands. <laughs> oh, look at you. You're taking risks, okay? You're no longer really worried about love if you're in a relationship. You're just worried about your relationship or the family that you built and your money and your health and stuff. But you're maybe you're traveling more. You're doing things that are more risky, okay? Thrill seeker over here. You could be um, definitely... <laughs> going to the gym and that's what's catching people attention maybe you're catching the attention of people at the gym as well but there's something about like your body changing your mindset changing your energy changing the way that you represent yourself in the world you're holding yourself to a higher light you could be whipping out new jewelry new watches new necklaces new bracelets new hairstyles new hair color again like this is emphasis on maybe your hair is growing longer and that's what's catching people's attention or you cut it short some of y'all cut a bob some of y'all shaved your head some of you guys you're growing out your beard or you shaved your beard in a new way maybe you're growing out a mustache a lot of change <laughs> a lot of change is coming in okay we did have the fool earlier but you're focused on your work you're focusing on yourself you don't care about the judgments of others you don't care if you know the people who left you out in the cold the people who didn't care that you were stuck you don't care about their thoughts you don't care about anyone else's opinions anymore at all okay you're focusing on seasoning your sauce just right and people want that secret sauce people want your secret recipe like how plankton wanted mr crab's recipe okay fuck you you ain't getting that recipe okay you just gotta watch and learn 11 11 you are manifesting amazing things and i feel like you're coming out of a stuck and stagnant energy and you were cooking in there you were cooking through your dark night of the soul okay you were shifting your perspectives doing a lot of energy work and that's why you're quantum leaping right now into like this momentum this fast ass energy with this knight of wands aka the son of wands okay let me see something yeah take risks you're taking risks you're doing a new new stuff you may have taken a different path started a new project you're in new territory and you're embracing your potential i feel like this is such a beautiful thing you have a young energy and you're daring to experience a new life you're you're stepping out of your comfort zone habitually like all the time b shout out to you all right let's get into your tarot to close you out all right 
Pot four, we have the two of coins, the daughter of wands, which is the page of wands, the ten of wands, the magician, the death card, the fool. We also have the ace of wands and the son, uh, father of baskets. I also almost said the son of baskets. You know what's catching people's attention is your emotional maturity. Maybe people thought you were always immature because you was always fun. You was always, you know, looking at the lighter side of things. You didn't take things too seriously. So people didn't think that you were going to be successful. People didn't think that she was going to be able, be capable of being disciplined or doing the hard work and stuff. But like, they judged you because of your personality. Because you have such a bubbly, charismatic, you may love to talk. And, you know, people thought you were foolish. People thought that you was immature and, and they're, they're, what's catching their attention is that you are not what they they seemed to think they also thought that maybe it was toxic maybe you were obsessed with the wrong things okay on the bottom of the deck we have the four to, four of knives i almost said 40 so it made me think of the 48 laws of power which is interesting people think that you uh what's catching people's attention is you're no longer um are able to manipulate uh able to manipulate people are no longer to able to manipulate you and now people thinking are thinking that you're manipulating them or you're manipulating the people who support you in some way shape or form because there is this emphasis on like you have a lot of support okay angelic or like you know maybe people think you're manipulating energies with magic or whatever like or just you know they're like these people put a spell on them there's no way that people love this pile so much pile four why do people you know you have there's toxic people who are trying to lie on your name and uh, i do feel like you're prioritizing your rest but you're also taking action towards a lot as well so you're busy so again there's this emphasis on um <laughs> you're not giving your energy to fights to drama you're not responding to people you have big boundaries because again you're very much working hard on manifesting right now with this ten of wands and this magician i'm not getting like overwhelming i'm getting capable because she's holding those 10 sticks on her head and then she has those two bags of groceries she has her child on her back she's walking okay you know like how in africa they hold mad shit on their head like that's that energy like and it's it's not straining you and it's that you're used to it this is work that you've been doing for a while and people think that it's overwhelming for you but you've actually mastered it and that's what's catching people's attention is that you're busy but you're not overwhelmed you still find time for rest you let go of all the toxic habits that maybe made you drained or the toxic people and stuff like that you're not worried about the envy you're not worried about the jealousy you're not worried about the drama okay what does this say because i know it says words on this you're going your own path okay yeah, it says greed, pride, lust, envy, gluttony, wrath, and sloth. So life was slow. Life was a little chaotic, you know. You're not worried about anybody outside of your energy. And like, yeah, you may talk to a couple pe people here and there. But like you, what, what catches people's attention is that you don't ask about people from the past. But everybody from your past asks about you and talks about you constantly. Making up lies or t telling the truth. Or they're envious about you or jealous or whatever and they're trying to spread their wrath onto you but it's unaffecting you it will never affect you okay you're very good on time management you're balancing a lot you may be doing more extracurricular curricular activities i can never say that word okay maybe you started playing a sport or you started a new hobby and that could be catching people's attention maybe your hobby is making you money and that's also catching people's attention but there is this emphasis on you know you're mastering something you're exploring life maybe you're traveling you have more energy you're you're just busy you know you're starting a new life with this full energy you have a vibrant energy you're an entrepreneur you're a warrior you're a fighter and i feel like you know you freed yourself you're taking action you're no longer sitting on the sidelines you're not going to settle down and you're making these changes very quickly okay you're stepping into a new emotional maturity you ended whatever was toxic whatever that devil energy is you are flying high again similar to another pile you're an earth angel we have these angel wings on him you're an earth angel you trust in in god source and i feel like you may be out in nature more maybe you're posting new pictures or your people are seeing you out more and stuff you're no longer hiding yourself or or hiding your energy and you're looking really good you're still tapped into your inner child but you're emotionally mature 
you're not fighting with anyone people can't trigger you anymore you're passionate about life and people are passionate about you people are seeing that you're talking more but you're only talking to certain people like how you talk to people it differs okay you could talk to somebody be all excited all happy and then all of a sudden someone asks you a question who is in this devil energy or the seven of swords energy kind of like a secret hater who's trying to act like they're cool with you and then you're like yeah and you like give them one worded answers and you kind of just your energy switches and that's what's catching people's attention is that they're seeing how you're treating certain people and that's like a red flag for people because they're like oh well why are they cool with this person and they're not cool with this person like what's what's going on you know so five 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 you're changing you're not being nice to just everybody you're not giving the same energy to just everybody you see through people and you're definitely maybe you're going to the grocery store more or something like that or maybe you're planting your own fruits and, and foods and stuff because we literally have like so much about planting and you, you have a garden and stuff or maybe you're just eating healthier and that's really affecting you in a good way but yeah you're manifesting your dreams you're manifesting your dreams and I feel like that's what's catching people's attention and maybe you could be you're just looking really sexy with this ace of wands I can't knock this ace of wands I feel like you're looking very sexy and people are kind of obsessed with your body transformation in regards to how your sex appeal is improving okay maybe people are wondering also who are you dating so they're like okay well if they ended a relationship can I make a move because a lot of people want to make a move on you not only because of the sexual draw but also because of the fact that they have heavy emotions for you but yeah you're definitely in this new energy like of more a lighter more happy uh confident kind of vibe that is still not allowing the snakes and stuff to you know you have your boundaries strong and i feel like you're growing something huge and people can see it people know it some of you guys you became a parent and uh that's what's catching people's attention is how you can balance so much and still be a parent like it's amazing what you're doing keep putting in that work because you will not regret it okay you're about to be so abundant with all this fruit over here it's like you're not even gonna like understand how or know what to do with this okay so i love you guys i hope you have an amazing day night or whatever and i'll see you on the next one bye